I forgot to start recording, but we've only been playing for about a minute or so. I jumped from the Harrowspex's lair over to the Sullen Haves' fortress. Uh, just a quick recap of things that took place yesterday. Most importantly, we were able to harvest some sort of blood out of the ground in Shechen and turn that into a panacea, which we were able to administer to ourselves after we met Murky's friend, the Plague. The other big piece that happened yesterday was that an Inquisitor, uh, turns out, from the state was bound to coming to this town, and we apparently were not able to stop her from coming. Uh, we're going to go and visit Murky first. So first things first, though, let's go ahead and administer immunity boosters to Notkin. We already cured him once. I'd hate to have to do it again, but there's always that chance. And we have a bunch of tinctures brewed up, so let's see what all we can buy from this kid. Just buy everything that he has. The lockpicks can be traded elsewhere. I think there's a girl here who sometimes sells food. She does. Unfortunately, we don't quite have enough. However, we can get some coins. That'll help getting about. Does she trade food as well? No. The Martin is in danger, but we can get to him later. His pub is so close to our lair. Ah, shoot, Aspidy is in danger as well. Well, let's stay on the path. We were going to go and visit Murky. This gets us out of the infection as well. Creeping up ever so slowly. We should be fine though. We have a lot of health to deal with, so if we begin starving, we should still be able to last for a few hours, hopefully. This is that train car we stopped at a couple of days ago that had some of the artwork inside. Which I suppose are just Murky's, Murky's child drawings. What's there about you to like? Nothing. So I don't. Not uh. Are you angry with me? No, kiddo. Of course I'm not. Will you forgive me? I'm not sure. I'll just stay here for a while, and then I'll come home to our home. What is this place, Murky? Have you been living here long? Long? Always. This is... well, it's a boxcar. Broken, I guess. Useless. I used to dream that it attached to a train while I slept and I'd wake up and see the sea. Aren't you scared here alone? I'm not alone at all. Who was here with you then? Guests visit sometimes. They're not my friends. No one is. But they play next to the boxcar and I watch through a crack or from the roof. I also have Mother's doll. Let's go home, kiddo. Get a bite to eat or something. Looks like nothing new factors in in our journal. So the safest way to get to Reuben is probably over through here. We can maybe swing by this grocery. And we have eight revolver rounds now, so if we do run into bandits, especially if we get swarmed, we should be able to hopefully handle it. Plus the revolver is fully repaired, so the accuracy should be quite good. wild. I 
Let's see, what can we sell to get a bite to eat? Gosh, everything is so expensive. It may not even be worth it, really. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think... I think even if we sold everything, we might not have enough. Here's one of the kin. I think that they are willing to trade for uh, the antibiotics and tinctures. A spindle and a charm. We do have room for both. Cut on over towards Reuben. And then we can take a boat up to here and get over to the fund for food. We still need to visit the dead item shop too, and it's already 2 a.m. If this guy had bread, I'd consider trading that lockpick with him. We can treat Anna Angel later after I've made some more tinctures. drop here. Okay, it looks like this water is clean. Maybe there's a bit of food here that we can pilfer as well. <laughs> Sorry bud, but I saved your ass, so we'll consider this the devil's due. Okay, looks like our hunger is now maxed out, so we're going to begin taking damage. What is this spell? He's not dead, only sleeping. How are you, friend? Completely exhausted, huh? I wonder what you've gotten yourself into, pal. Who did you dissect? You're so secretive as though it was Simon's body. <laughs> now that would be a whole heap of trouble. All I know is that you couldn't have done anything low or selfish. I guess you tried to make a cure too? A vaccine or a serum? But why did you have to do it alone? Even I can't do everything on my own, and you... Remember that time at the Scruff, when we had that fight? You said you're bound to this land, that you've been born here and will die here, that you didn't want me to leave. That's when it all went downhill between us, wasn't it? See how it turned out? I'm back, but you seem to be leaving. Father was the only thing that kept you anchored, wasn't he? You were loyal to the land because of him. Now, you're all alone. So you're running to Death's Embrace. Anywhere, away from here. You could stay. Father's gone, but perhaps someone could take his place in your heart. Maybe you could marry Lara. Become a father yourself. Things would turn around. 
Reuben is tired, dead tired. I can't help him with that. He'll either make it on his own or not. Well, not much else we can do there. Okay, actually, we can't take that boat because the uh, the district is plagued. So we're going to have to run to the fund. That's fine. We can make it. Shoot, going the wrong way here. We don't really have time to be chasing after bandits, unfortunately. killed here. It's funny because I have fewer things open than I typically do. Let me check one more thing. Maybe that can help. Okay, we just go past the old Gimskis and it's pretty much a straight shot up to the fund. We could also visit, there's a children's stash in here I want to say that we could check out. It's over amongst one of these corners. There could be food in there. If I could just remember precisely where it was. I'll grab this since we're already here. Hmm, nothing useful to us. hoping there might be a morsel of food there. You don't seem to find food in the various containers often. In fact, I can't really ever remember an instance of finding it in a bin or whatever. Morphine at this point is just a trading ingredient. I don't think it's really worth. I think I'll take the hit to my health. I'd rather have a bullet than the morphine. There we go, he had food. Gosh, he had a lot of things. First things first, let's eat this egg. Let's try to clear a bit of inventory space. What was the last piece that we lost? That lockpick? Alright. Well, thank you for the food delivery. Whoa! This guy's got some stuff on him. We're going to need to uh, think about this for a moment. This goes to the dead item shop. The bracelet is pretty... That can go to the, uh... Who trades for that? Gosh. Man, there's actually a number of decent things on this guy, but... Wasting time there. We need to get on the screen here. <sighs> I've got a lot of lock picks. Man, I've upgraded my inventory a bunch and I'm already running out more. I mean, we can always try to grab his kidney. We already have a stack of those. And his heart. I suppose we could have dissected the other guy as well, but this will this will do though. There's a reputation piece to that. I'm really not interested in killing any more of these guys. 
This one doesn't appear to be hostile. So the, uh... Killing the uh, bandits basically paid for itself, even if I didn't get to loot everything, because those lockpicks, they uh, they can easily be traded for bullets. And then the uh, springs which repair the gun are fairly commonplace. So I would say that was a net gain, even though it felt kind of bad to use my bullets. Alright, whatever food is in here, we're probably just going to have to eat immediately. There's not going to be an overabundance because we weren't going around doing a lot of side quests. I think we can probably get away with eating all of these. No, yeah, that'll definitely do us and do us good until dawn though. time is it? And what's the new item on our journal? Probably just that we took from the fund? Yep. Alright, so if we go out of here to the right there and then right, that'll do it. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I should have been more careful there. We need to get the hell out of here now. Okay, good. Shoot, we need to go back and up those stairs. Okay, let's think about this. Bread and bullets on any of you. Pretty fair trade. Alright. We just gotta sprint. Now we have to be careful. Actually, no, this isn't a burned out district. And thankfully, there's some patrolmen nearby. started. All right, no use lying, is there? So here I am, confessing. We were robbing folks. Me and Kitty Cat, stilts, knives, all them. Then we wanted to rob that big city bachelor. I see. Northern gold mines. Ten years. Alexander Sabarov? Aye. You've heard it all. I try to instill order. It's instrumental. And the outbreak? Outbreak. Aches, earthquakes, the last judgment. It doesn't matter. Discipline must be maintained. People turn into animals. They need to be reined in. My wife... My sympathies for your wife. Last question. Heads or tails? Heads. Always heads. I expected nothing else. Still, you're free to leave. Andre Goffman? I'm his sister, Anna. He didn't wait for questioning. Shot himself. You won't punish the rest of us, will you? Noted. Next. Victoria Orgimskaya, 16. Or is it 15? Okay, that was...
was foretelling of the Inquisitor. Alright. We can make it up there and unload a bunch of junk from our inventory. Hopefully get some food. Maybe a schmatter if we're lucky. And then I think we go, we go to the shelter. Laura Ravel's mansion. And we treat her and sleep until dawn, which is not going to be a lot of sleep, but should be enough, hopefully. I think we can just outrun this guy. to talk. Ah, fellow traveler, look what I have here. A curious thing. What's so curious about a common belt? Made from cow leather, rather old. Passed on for three or four generations before it got to me. Worn down with a notched buckle. So many additional holes made in it. Guess the owner was starving. So many children set straight with this belt. Parental authority is unbroken. They have a special way of educating kids. Cruel, but efficient, don't you think? We all had to bear it when we were kids. Here, look at this crack. It wasn't his fault, it was the cat. But the parental response was to teach a lesson. He could have tricked them, sure, but the parent would have got him by the collar anyway. The face, so distant, so indignant. I love such faces. They're funny. You truly are a master of your work, rag and bone man. Rifle ammo, huh? Well, that implies the existence of a rifle. Ooh, he's got schmouter. That's a cure. Plus pills are great. Food. Rings are great. Let's see, if I sold everything here... 90 favor, Jesus. And we could afford everything but the rifle ammo. The question is, is it worth getting ammo for a gun that we don't have? And I want to say the answer is no, but am I going to regret it later if I do get my hands on a rifle? No. I'm hoping that the revolver is enough. Watch that immunity. We're probably going to need to take a tincture here soon. Unless we could just sprint it out to Lara's house. Am I playing with fire here? Speaking of which, Jesus. So waste of tincture there. Unfortunately, there's no way to fast travel out of here. But this is it. So what did we get? We got food. A decent amount of food, I might add. And then we got some medicine. We have three schmouters again. How many people are infected? One, two. We could actually cure both infected people here. But we're only on day seven.
This must be the arrival of the Inquisitor. Day seven in which new actors enter the stage and the old ones reveal themselves in unexpected ways. I don't think there's food here, but can't really hurt to check while we're already here. sitting pretty well in our meters. We're out of food, unfortunately, but let's see, what do we have now? We have work in the hospital, a trip over to Capella, so it would seem. How's our inventory looking? This shit takes up so much space, and then we got all these herbs too. More lockpicks than we can do with. Does that? Jesus, the things jumping out of the trash can scared me. I don't know what was meant to be chasing me there. that charm for toast. Let's see though. Coffee would be val valuable here too. Mm, that's a steep price though. People say Anna went to the river at night to drown mice. Guess she hopes to cure herself. Cure herself by drowning mice? She threw some sack into the gullet. I don't know what's inside. We have a custom. To avoid bad fortune, one must drown a mouse. You see, trouble grabs its tail, thinking it has grabbed luck. By the time Trouble realizes its mistake, the flow of water drags it away. So she must be drowning mice, even though we don't believe such customs. Throwing sacks into the gullet. Curious. Anna Angel, something bad is happening at her place. Artemy Burach. Well? Aglaya Lilich, a state inquisitor and commissar for critical emergencies, has arrived in town. She has chosen the cathedral as her base of operations. As one person responsible for the current situation, you have been invited to a meeting immediately. Immediately? Doesn't sound like an invitation, more like a notice of interrogation. Perhaps. The sick are my first priority. The inquisitor will have to wait. Artemi Barak, no one cares what you want. The inquisitor plans to solve the current crisis in under a day. If that's so, there must be a line all the way to her office, with or without me. Immediately. Heard you loud and clear. Just instantly pull out my gun whenever I hear footsteps like that. Don't know why, because it's really the music that indicates I'm in danger. But... Starting to pile up. Mm -hmm. 
Doesn't look like Ruben is here right now. Do you plan to work today, doctor? What do we have today? A lot of patients died last night. They moaned for a while, and then they stopped. I guess some are still breathing, nestling next to the corpses, twitching. Can't tell anymore. And what are you doing? Why haven't the bodies been taken away? Don't raise your voice at me. It's a theater, not a hospital. And I'm a coal heaver, not a doctor. No one ever taught us how to fight the plague. She's a cunning mix. Mixing the minx, mixing the dead with and the living into one. One day she's silent, and the next she mows down a hundred. She'll mow your folk down too, mark my word. We're doing the best we can. She won't mow mine down. I'll take care of them. So what are our orders for today? Prepare bandages and warm water. When I bring the survivors, you'll need to wash them. Find the living among the dead, inside and outside the theater. Okay. going to look like that or will they be some of them be like in blankets well, I'm not getting any prompts on the blanket people Inquisitor arrived in the town. She wants to see me. I know what to show her. I found two survivors. Is that it? Looks like there's some more up here. That's it. So the doctor's work is done. The question is, do I want to visit with Anna Angel and Capella first, or go to the Inquisitor? particularly easy way to get to the old Gimskis. We have to go through this plague district. Either that or go very far out of our way. Is that kid want to trade? Yeah, that's a good trade. It gets us some food.
putting our ammunition there. We'll check her balcony again because we did spot the engineer out there one time. Oh, sorry, the mathematician. No dice today. There's a peculiar smell outside. What is it? I'll never leave this place, even if just to visit someone. Mother never traveled either. Do you think that's awful? Sometimes I recall the wi wider world is vastly different than our corner, and yet I know nothing of it. Say, did you by chance call to me? I sensed this strange prickling, like you needed me. Yes, you have such a sensitive heart. It never lies to you. You can hear. You can truly hear. I mean, I didn't call you on purpose. I can feel the town and touch it. It sings, and you hear its song too. You understand, don't you? It's a pulse. You've sensed it. Tell me, what was it like? Like intuition. I am expected. I need to come. That's it. Anyway, something horrible is about to happen, and I can't do anything myself. No one would listen. Not yet. That's why I thought of you, I guess. You're the only one who can take this seriously. It's about Grace. She's all worn out, coming apart at the seams. And no one sees it, not even Grace herself. If no one helps her get a grip, I'm afraid she'll... die. I'm not sure. I'm not that good to see her yet. But I know that if she comes unraveled now, that would be it. No one would be able to piece her back together. Can you pay her a visit? Can you help? If I have the time. Grace is the uh, young woman in the graveyard who appears to have the ability to commune with the dead in some way. Grace is coming apart at the seams. If I don't hurry, something bad is about to happen. On an angel, something bad is happening at her place. Reuben spends nights at home now. Make our way over to Ana Angels, and then I think that that is a good place to leave off. The question of questions really now is whether to administer a schmouter to her or not. And I'm starting to lean towards yes, just because we have so many. And because the every time that we treat her, that little infection meter after the night appears to go up higher and higher, even if we've been successful at treating her. We're honestly perhaps quite lucky that she's made it this far. So let's see. If we visit Anna. Whatever we do, once we get to the Inquisitor, I think we'll need to take the boat down to Sabarov's to treat him. We could always wait and deal with Anna later, but we're already here. A bow to you, Emshin. A bow, Yarkachin. You see the lines far ahead. We see them close. Earth tells us that Barak's line would lead him to a great wrath soon. You will face a trial. To help, we offer you a gift, our silence. What trial? You know better than me, Yarkachin. Is there enough pain in your life? But how will your silence help? Are you testing me? You already know. 
The lines are the art of healing, healing the cavities within solid bodies, hearing the points where flesh longs to give in, hearing the world, hearing where the world longs to give in. Sorry, the, the art of hearing, not healing. You are a hearer. Murmurs and commotion distract you, so we fall silent. Oh, come on, it's the opposite. I need your advice. You need no advice from the crowd or the murmuring pa of passers. Listen to your heart, Emshin. Listen to whoever is important. The kin will no longer speak to you in the streets. I hope you reconsider. I'm doing it. I'm giving her a schmatter. I've decided we'll deal with uh, whatever's going on here and cure her. Shakes. So viciously intimate. Always making me wash my hands. Listen, Barah, I'm in trouble. I was cursed yesterday. I'm surprised it only happened yesterday. This is the doing of your step butchers, your rippers. You're a ripper, so you must know how to undo it. Undo what? There's a man around town who can divine the future by reading entrails, a step how respects. He dissects the dead or dying and tells the future. They say he's always right, got a ton of clients, and, well, here we are. So is it the dead or dying? Why the fuck should you care? There's no salvation from the sand pest. They're all walking corpses anyway. This way, at least, they serve the living. And the living in question would be you, yes? So I called upon his services. There was this thing that I really very much needed to know. And now I've got this heart. I've tried to throw it away. Drown it in the gullet and the guzzle, bury it, but it always comes back. I keep finding it in my bag, or in my bed, or in my pocket. I just thrust my hand there and... and... I think you ought to share this with that changeling girl. Sounds like her area of expertise. Barak, this only happened because of that cutter. I mean, your colleague wasn't a true Harrowspex. He didn't actually know those lines of yours, or so I'm told. But you do. Help me, Barak, please. I promise I'll be good from now on. Will you? I am good, Brach. I I had no idea he'd kill someone. Please, I'm basically on my knees here. Fine, shut up. This heart of yours can't be thrown away. Only traded. Do you have it on you? Yes. Hold it in your hand tightly. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see my beautiful face. No, wait. I see a spindle of sorts. Here you go. And never do that again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we lucked out. Oh, I'm glad that we didn't go back and unload our inventory and have to make another run. Jeez. We actually have a bunch of, a couple little pieces of miscellaneous junk. But that spindle, man. Heart. A hot, almost beating heart. One can't throw away a bad fortune or cut it off, but it can be traded for a spindle in Nana Angel's case. Nana Angel, I traded her bad fortune away from her, but it's not so easy to get rid of a guilty conscience. Okay, this is a good leaving off spot, so everything is actually nice and close together here. And then we can make our way over to her and take a boat back to Saparov. I'm sure other events will contravene throughout the day, but gotten a good amount done by 10, so I'll take it. <laughs> 